New episode of the series, One Day, One Artist. Let's talk today about Pindar Van Armen. Let's go. So actually, uh, Pindar Van Armen was one of the first artists I discovered into the NFT space. Uh, let's let's see first about his Wikipedia page. Yes, but because he has a Wikipedia page. It's not so common, but he has one. So let's read it. It's quite short. Pindar Van Armen is an American artist and roboticist based in Washington, D.C. His art focuses on <clears throat> designing painting robots that explore the differences between human and computational creativity. Since his first system in 2005, he has built multiple artificially creative robots, including Cloud Painter, Beam Painter, and Cloud Painter, His robotic system typically paint with a brush on stretched canva and have recently begun to concentrate on creative portrait. His work with Cloud Painter was awarded first place in Robot Art 2018, an annual AI and robotic art competition. Judge on the contents noted, noted that the Cloud Painter was able to paint evocative portrait with varying, with varying degrees of abstraction. So actually, Pindar Van Armen was an artist before the NFT space, before everything about the NFT. Uh, already in 2005, he was already be doing some art with his robots. Uh, you can find here a clown painter, which we talked just earlier on uh, the, his Wikipedia page. So as you can see, uh, he is not doing the work, I mean, the work on painting. He just does the just he, he does the programming work and the and actually building the robot but as you can see it's the bot itself that does the work and that does the the painting so you see here you can see it here actually it's pretty impressive because he does the software and the hardware he does all of the thing related to artificial intelligence and he builds he builds the bot which does it You can see him, uh, I saw, yeah, you can see him here. So you see the computer and you see him doing the work. Um, about the NFT space, because we are here talking especially about the NFT space. Um, Pindar Van Armen, no, let's talk about it further. Pindar Van Armen is on Super Rare. Super Rare, um, Super Rare is like the highest place for artists to go. Uh, it's really, really selective. It's hard to go there. You need to have really a big background to do there. So it's not easy. Uh, as we can see here, AI artists collaborating with my artificial intelligence painting robots, their creative minds use a broad array of competing AI agents, including deep learning, generative algorithms, and feedback loops to bring their creation into the material world one brush stroke at a time. Uh, he did like, actually quite a lot of work, 330 creation <clears throat> from 29 collections, so quite a lot. Uh, his work is actually pretty expensive. You can see from 15 ETH, 20 ETH, 29 ETH, 30 ETH. So it, it's pretty expensive. It's actually a well-known artist and well-reputation artist. So already uh, some some pretty big work. As you can see, 54,000 if of, no, 54, 54 if of sales. So as you can see, two, two sales here. I wanted to show, I saw uh, Sebastian Borger. Yeah, you can see here, <laughs> here is the, the robot done uh, a Sebastian Borger as a AI art painting, you can recognize. So <laughs> just, just to compare. Go here. I think he has a. Ah, uh, maybe. Ah, uh, we will see in media. I saw one here. So if you look here, here you have the real one, and here you have the painting one, the AI art one. Okay, I'm not see here, but. You can see here, the AI here, very one here. So it's actually really done. It's done really, really well. And by a art, by, by a robot. Uh, then um, 
Actually, Pindar Van Arman is really, really famous for his uh, two collections, Bitgun and Podgun. Uh, why it's called GAN, by the way, GAN is because GAN General Generative Adversarial Network. So it's called Neural Network. It means that it's, um, it's done with artificial intelligence. I won't go into details uh, because it's a bit complex and a bit technical, and I'm not uh, too technical about it too. But anyway, uh, you can have, you can see the BitGAN here, series of animated GAN train on Van Arman 8-bit. Uh, actually, it's pretty expensive, 2.8 if, but at the beginning, at, at the mint, it was just uh, 0.1 if, so much, much cheaper. So actually, this kind of collection that you find on OpenSea are usually for the people who don't have money to collect on Super Rare. They can go here, they can have, they can participate in, into Raffle to get these kind of things. Um, then we have the PodGAN. Actually, there was a, there was a pull-up to celebrate the PodGAN invasion. It was done like in December. I, I have, I, as you can see, I meet in on December. So if uh, if you are looking this video, uh, in there maybe you can do something with, uh, with a pull-up for the next drop. I don't know, these kind of things. And then we have a PodGAN here. Um, which have actually more it, more items, but uh, more bigger floor, 4.1 if. Uh, actually, it's trending right now because actually, because uh, brain drops in, is trending because Pinder Van Arman is part of uh, brain drops. So brain drops is the art blocks of AI. To be fair, art blocks is about generative art. Brain drop is about AI generated art. So as you can see on brain on, on brain drops, you can see Podgans by Pindar Van Arman, where one of the first collection you can see on um, about AI and about art on brain drops. Um, you can also go on uh, metaverse. You can go on on uh, crypto voxel. In crypto voxel, you can see his art. It's behind. It's here. I have. Uh, Again, on chain gallery here, you can go inside and you can see all of the bit again on chain. You can see it here. So he's part of the gallery. We can see there. It's actually pretty cool. And, um, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it mainly about this. Uh, I may miss something, but uh, anyway, he also did actually, he, he did uh, something which was a bit original too. Uh, he did, I think it was a podgun, he did some on to, um, into the testnet on GoRD network, and you needed to pay on GoRD network to then have it on the main net. It was really something original. I never saw this again, but it was really original, really great to see this kind of uh, initiative. So that's it for the presentation of Pinda Van Arman. Um, really big artist, really, really big artist doing some uh, really big work. I hope you will see the video and uh, like the video, Pinda. Anyway, uh, let's see us tomorrow for a new presentation of a new artist. Until then, take care, have fun, bye-bye.